While Vice President Pence was promoting President Trump's tax cuts to the public this morning, Mrs. Pence was buzzing around the outskirts of Billings. MTN Zoe Zandora takes us along. Karen Pence is in Billings today visiting Tal Larson's apiary, where he has 4,000 beehives. She herself installed a beehive on the vice president's residence in Washington, D.C., where 60,000 bees live in the hive. And today, she experiences the extraction process firsthand. It's an honor to have her here and to recognize our industry and support our industry. You know, we're kind of a smaller industry, but uh, um, I, I, I think it's great for her support. Last week at the vice president's residence, the beekeeper extracted honey from the beehive for the first time since Mrs. Pence installed the hive. Uh, basically, we have a certain window in the summer that we're, we're bringing in our boxes of honey and we have to run them through some machinery and uh, uh, get the honey out of the comb in the raw form to send off to our, our honey packers. We have, you know, we usually try to finish by October 1st. So uh, yeah, it's a perfect time to have her and come see what we, what we do. Mrs. Pence says all types of pollinators, such as bees, butterflies, birds, and bats, are critical to providing our nation's food, fiber, fuel, and medicine. She added, this presents a serious challenge to our ability to produce many of the agricultural products that we enjoy today. Bees provide an added bonus to the vegetable and flower gardens by making them well-pollinated and taste even better at harvest. In Billings, Zoe Zandora, MTN News. Thanks, Zoe. Now, Karen Pence's visit to the Billings Apiary, the first of two such visits today during her stop in North Dakota. This afternoon, Mrs. Pence toured another bee farm in Grand Forks.